now we will see how ci cd works and we can import the module from a bitbucket to any tenant so for that we will log in to any uh, the app operation user in the sas master database and here is the provision where the ci cd configuration is done for which we have created a server and that will correspond to each of the database which we are going to create so that will have a a, a server directory path where the custom addon is mapped over so this will be automatically get created here when we are trying to clone a new dat new request we can or new module we can first select the server name which is our tenant database then we can select from where we want to clone a particular module it could be from bitbucket github or gitlab so for time being i will utilize a bitbucket link so here in a clone url i will copy over the clone url for a particular product or the module that i have which is zero connector i will set here the branch which i want to pulled in here and i will add here a collaborator username for adding it up i will copy over the user of the bitbucket and i will set the password and i save this record and then i will clone it so when i click on clone ideally it will go or it will pull the zero connector module for branch 15 into a container which is uh, which i have selected here once the cloning is completed we will restart the container service i'll stop this first and then restart it once that is completed we'll go to the database list and now ideally the zero connector should be available in uninstalled stage in this given list so we'll search for the module so now you can see the zero connector is now available here in the list so essentially what we can do we can select this newly cloned module and install it in the tenant database as well by clicking on the install button so it will initiate the process of installation the process is completed we'll check on the tenant database now so i switched over to a tenant database we'll refresh the page once and then go to settings it should show us the zero accounting tab on the company master so here is the zero accounting tab which is ideally comes from the zero connector module that we have so the module is now installed so this is how the cloning of module is available on the sas kit to check the module version i need to log in in this tenant database as a super admin user so i am logging out and login as a super admin user here will go to apps and check for the zero connector in this case uh, we may need to be in a developer mode so the current version is 15.0.0.6 so what we will do we will just make a slight change in the manifest file for the existing branch and that we will pull from the ci cd functionality of 
uh, SAS kit. So we will go to my Bitbucket account. I have already logged in and I am on the zero connector for version 15. So the version here is 0 0.6. I will edit this manifest file and update the version to 7. So changing version to 7 and commit this. So just change the message over here, uh, manifest number is updated and then commit. So commit is updated on the Bitbucket now. So now what we will do, we will go to our SAS master and go to a pull section where we will create our record for pulling the rec uh, pulling the branch of the module we'll select zero connector and the branch is available so here we'll select a branch and then save so here we have so this is a one time activity so henceforth for this particular repo we need not to create another record so once it is saved, I can pull the record and once it is pulled, it will give a success message. Then we need to go to a respective container and restart the service. We'll move to a tenant database. So earlier the version was 06. We will refresh the page and see what version it shows. So now you can see here the version is updated to 7. So that is how the pull works in our 